has released a damning new report on China's criminal justice system. It alleges that torture and forced confessions are rampant and that lawyers' attempts to raise or investigate claims are thwarted by police, prosecutors, and the courts. It says lawyers are often threatened, harassed, detained, or even tortured themselves. Now, the Amnesty International report also outlines a new form of detention. It's where people can be kept incommunicado for months at a time. One of the authors is China researcher William Ni, who joins me now live. Um, William, what other techniques, what other tools are being used in China for torture and for forced confessions? What have you learned? Well, I think we've learned that some of the most common techniques are sleep deprivation, uh, just not allowing people in pretrial detention to sleep uh, for extended periods of time, or interrogations that go on and on. Um, sometimes we've heard cases of 18 hours, uh, day in, day out. These are very common. But in terms of the tools, China has a whole industry dedicated to producing tools for law enforcement, um, some of which are valid, but some of which are not valid, um, such as electronic stun batons. There's things called tiger benches, where you sit back on a chair and put your legs out on a bench, and then bricks will be under your feet, uh, causing extreme stress to your knees and pain. Um, and people are subjected to this for long periods of time. There's also restraint chairs, iron chairs that are very uncomfortable, uh, weighted leg cuffs, weighted um, handcuffs. And then also these, uh, probably the worst, is these iron chairs um, in which there's no restraint back and you're off the ground. And so you're, you're tied to the chair as well. And it causes extreme discomfort and lawyers and people who have been in de pretrial detention have been subjected to these types of torture devices. And this continues to happen, even though China's uh, torture problem is well known and there have been steps to address it in recent years. And is this widespread? I mean, where do these alleged beatings and acts of torture take place? Well, from our research, it is widespread. It's happening all over the country, um, and especially to people who are uh, perceived as troublemakers or political dissidents. Um, it's very common in pretrial detention, and that's because the system still puts so much emphasis on confessions. And the police, in order to get those confessions, will, you know, torture people or subject them to other forms of ill treatment. Um, and these forced confessions then become the basis of the evidence in court. Uh, so this is very co common. We've talked to 37 lawyers who are some of the few lawyers who are willing to bring up these cases, and 10 of them, in fact, were tortured. Um, so, you know, mm. and China, to make matters worse, has, has launched an uh, unprecedented crackdown on human rights lawyers, targeting over 250. Uh, 28 are still in detention, some of those in the secret detention that you mentioned. And, and separately, William, I wanted to get your thoughts on these reports out there of four Hong Kong publishers known for books critical of Beijing. These individuals have gone missing. Now, they all live in Hong Kong. They were recently traveling to places like Thailand, but they're missing. What happened to them? Well, I think the facts in this are still unclear. It's very suspicious that the four went missing all at the same time, two apparently in the mainland, mainland China, one apparently in Hong Kong, one in Thailand. Um, and, you know, they were apparently about to produce a book about, uh, uh, you know, the, the government, um, obviously about sensitive material. And this fits a pattern of cracking down on this type of uh, books that speculate or that produce, un, you know, prohibited material that you can't find in China, but you can find in Hong Kong in every bookstore. Um, so it's a very worrying time for freedom of expression in Hong Kong. And uh, it's also very worrying to see this potentially interna creeping internationalization of uh, the attacks on uh, human rights defenders and um, freedom of expression. There have been many ins other incidents in Thailand, um, incidents in uh, Myanmar and, and elsewhere. Yeah, very disturbing reports of Chinese distance being targeted overseas. And, of course, this latest report from Amnesty, your group, uh, on torture and these forced confessions inside the country. Will